Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair. It has been a while since I uploaded a really useful educational video that helps people figure out stuff uh, or solve problems rather than just show them that something works, a functionality proof. And uh, hopefully this will be one of those. So customer brought in Visio V585 H11 and what I'm about to show you works on many other models and there are different videos that you can find different things about I will not be able to explain it all too many details if only because I don't know what goes on but uh, here it is this was a, a patch uh, a, a, a crack a patch rather uh, to make something work so the customer brought it and the complaint was the unit was coming up and there was nothing on the screen they could hear sound um and every now and then the picture will be there and they can watch once it starts working they said it works fine um unusual it doesn't sound like an led problem and when i tried it up actually what it turned out is it is connected right now I'm going to show you in a moment what really happens, but um, what happens is the backlights do come up. There is nothing on the screen, and so the image doesn't get there. Probably bad tick on or whatever. So one thing I want to just really quickly mention: it's pretty easy to open up the back, and this is what it is. Uh, you remove the screws, you start pulling that up, and there are two cables. This is one of the cheap models where um, the buttons on the back. There they are, those buttons, and the speakers are on the whole back cover. So you got to disconnect this from the main board, you just don't rush plugging it out. Um, this is the speakers here, and this is the buttons. You don't really need the buttons, that's one of the good ones. There are other visual models where both the infrared and the buttons are there. And that really makes it hard for troubleshooting. Now, what I want to show you is what the TV was doing actually. I am using the remote to power it on, pressing it on. It is connected, the backlights just came. There you can see them. And this is what is inside the TV, or rather, this is what the screen looks like. Nothing. No visual. Sorry, no nothing, just dark screen. But it stays on. Many of the later generation Samsung to start power cycling at that point. So the next thing that you want to do, apparently the backlights are good. So you're not troubleshooting to see whether this is a backlight problem. They are lit up, as you can see here. Uh, so what you want to do next is disconnect it, turn it off. I am about to disconnect it, and because it has two cables for left and right side of the TV, you just see whether maybe half the screen will come up when you put in just the left side. And this is what I would do for any other TV that comes around and does the same. And sure enough, half of the screen did come up. This is Zio from Vizio. The other half is just all white. Of course, there's nothing here. But this this half is actually working fine. And if I press, say, uh, the menu, it's going to show up stuff. Hold on a second. Yep, there you go. And it's working fine. Uh, sorry, it's not very convenient for showing but what this tells us of course there could be something that is here and not working with that half but uh, in real life and also logically it's more likely for something to be here or on the panel more more exactly on the ICs here so we come to the good old trick that is shown on many videos well, there are several things you can do there. You can start uh, checking for shorts on some of those capacitors. And sometimes you, you may find something. In this particular case, you wouldn't. If you start, of course, I did that. Uh, but it's very rarely. It is possible. I have seen cases where one of those capacitors shorts out, or one of those, or one of, not for this particular model. 
in general in LCDs. But instead, what you really want to try and do, and it doesn't always help, and it doesn't always solve the problem, but it did help, and it did solve the problem in this case. This is a simple piece of paper that I cut with two different widths. I literally chose them randomly. And what you want to do is you want to try first stick them. I first started inserting at the leftmost here and then slowly moved it out to see, you know, how the screen responds when this whole thing is inserted. And what I'm doing here is I'm preventing just a number of pins to make a contact. How many pins? Which pins? It's kind of arbitrary. It's, it's try and see what happens after you've tested. I'm sure, you know, there could be a better theory, but I do not have one better explanation right now. I mean, apparently there is something that is uh, messing it up. This is very, very common problem on many Samsung panels. So this is on the back right now. It is between the, the copper connectors here and the cables bottom where they make contact. So those last tracks here, so many of them, that go all the way somewhere to here are disconnected. And, <laughs> you know, you would think that this would not work properly, but prepare for a surprise. So I just connected it back. I wanna, oh, it started already. So let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna turn that around. Let's see. Looks like it didn't start. And the reason I make this video is because it did start for me. Input, oh no, there you go. Can you believe it? All of the screen is working. And you'll think that this last part will be slower because I've seen things like that happen. Darker, slower refresh. I don't see any of that. <laughs> Something was not connected and as a result, it works. I would entertain all kinds of explanations uh, from you know technicians, engineers, people who know more than I do. Uh, welcome, but I'm gonna try and play something that is dynamic. If we expect any problems, we expect them mostly on this side of the screen. Oh, maybe that was... No, it is. I've seen cases where it starts refreshing slower. It is, it is slightly darker. I've seen all kinds of things, but this it just, it just looks good. And still, if you remember, I showed the strip that was uh, slightly shorter on one side. I would still try and see how much smaller I can make it. You know, the more pins I leave is what I'm thinking, the better it should work in general. I don't know if that will be the case. I don't know if it, if it is true, but in a place where, you know, you would kill the panel or tell the customer that, you know, it's, it's a bad panel, this trick did work. Now, I'm thinking with the Samsung panels, because there was a TV just right before this one, uh, where it does the regular Samsung power cycling when the right half is connected. It just never starts up. It flashes the screen up, um, then turns off as if it continues to reboot. Then, unless there is a single cable going in there, but there is a connection from the left to the right, there's still two uh, PCBs. The main cable is just one. It comes from the main board. It's all in one. It comes in the left and there is a small strip cable that goes from here to here. So unless this is detached, the TV just power cycles. If you remove it, the TV stays on, can play. There's nothing on the screen. There is no voltage coming to either side. So it detects that uh, the, the, the T-cone, which is on the main board, detects that, um, you know, it's... Uh, something is wrong and stops sending power. And I've seen a lot of those Samsungs. And honestly, I think they do it on purpose. Um, whatever the case, 
in this particular one, it was resolved. And what I'm going to do is I will try to make that smaller to figure out which particular pin is the offending one. Uh, I don't know whether that will improve. Again, I've done this before in other models. And usually there is something on the screen that is slower refresh, something. I mean, you know, <laughs> those wires are there for a reason. And if it stopped working because of them, that's because they were doing something probably and most likely. But whatever it is, I'm sure customer will be happy. I cannot charge them for a repair because that I, I cannot call that a repair. But it's their call, and it's the most that I can do, clearly, at the moment. I mean, I, I can go and further troubleshoot, but whatever happens in here, unless it is one of those capacitors, which I already tested, and it's not. Um, can it be this? I doubt it. I think I tried the EEPROMs, and if anyone knows what those EEPROMs are for, I would be curious to hear the explanation. You know, that's not a T-Con. This is the T-Con. It's, uh, I mean, apparently they've moved some functionality, but all those Samsung panels that do the infamous power cycling also have T-Cons. I mean, sorry, also have EEPROMs on uh, all the panel PCBs. So uh, whatever it is, hopefully that helps, uh, you know, save a screen somewhere, save a TV, save a little money. It's gaming TV, whatever TV, I don't know, I will find out more, but this is what it is. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it shorter and figure out which, which pin it is and leave it with just that. But ultimately, you know, repair business in these prices and these conditions is about efficiency. And this is a trick that will hopefully help someone. Uh, again, it's applicable to many other TVs. Anytime you have those, you got to try them one at a time to see whatever the problem is in the panel. If it is in the panel, you can try something like, this is not a repair. This is not a proper repair. This is not a something that you know you can do and expect to have the, the panel working, just like you, you can't expect to remove a tire out of your car and <laughs> you know it, it may be able to move on three, but there is something wrong there. I don't know what it is. I will learn over time if I want to. For the time being, I'm not very motivated to, to do TV repairs in particular. It just has come to a point where it's not worth it. Uh, but whatever it is, hopefully that will help someone. Uh, and it's not the typical functionality proof video. Best of luck with your repairs and uh, hope you learned something useful. Best of luck.